Good Sunday morning, everybody. It's still raining. Terrific. It was bucketing it down. Sorry, stay that again. It's absolutely bucketing down not so long ago. Anyway, Michelle's still not too well, so I'm on duty. So first things first, I'm going to make ourselves a bacon roll for breakfast. On I go. Okay guys, apparently I made bad coffee. I put too much coffee in it, it's like rocket fuel. So I'm going to have to water it down a bit. One thing's for sure, we've got our caffeine fix off that. And breakfast is ready. Okay guys, what we have here is the lesser spotted cooking Alan. What are you making? I'm about to try and make that, which is a Plymouth cheese and pickle tart. It may not turn out a bit like that, but I'm going to give it a go. Now, I've heated the oven to what it says on this here recipe, to 180 degrees C, 160 Fahrenheit. This is gas mic for, see that professional cooking for me. Ready made pastry. Now the ingredients, quite simple. Shortcuts pastry, paprika, we just discovered we don't have, so that ain't going in it. Four medium eggs, 150 ml of milk, some sandwich pickle, seven ounces or 200 grams, 250 grams of mature grated cheddar cheese. So, preheat oven, check. Lay the pastry on a work surface, dust it with a little flour, sprinkle with a paprika. But we don't have any, so we're going to miss that one, right? Uh, it says knead it and then put it in the fridge for 15 minutes. Well, what we're going to do is dust the work surface, roll it out, and put it in a brand new, fit for the occasion, unopenable. Plastic bag containing a. Well it says nine inch, but this is ten inch. So, whatever you call one of these, a flan in each tin. So that's all we're gonna make it, make it in. Is it in a baking powder, pepper? Mhm. Mm okay. So flour first. Okay. Get some flour. Why I make a mess of our tea? Michelle's going to make a cup of tea. So, when she gets out of the way, I'm just trying to find the baking paper. Baking paper. Okay, now, now that Michelle's got out of the way, I'm going to roll out the pastry on a floured surface. Frozen shop bar pastry. Before come out the bag. And all I need to know now is where the rolling pin is. Where's the rolling pin? Big cupboard. Big cupboard. Oh. Rolling pin. Now I've done my usual trick, I've started off with a square piece and ended up with a kind of a square piece. What you should really do is make it round then you can put it into a round shape. 
Oh. Let's see if that'll do. And it covers it. And that's the pie flan filled. Now what I'm going to do is blind bake that. So line it with baking parchment. And fill that with baking beans. It's just not to have. I can't get into. Okay, and then that goes into the oven for for 25 minutes. So there's nothing to do now other than clean this mess up and come back in 25 minutes. Okay guys, so that's been blind baking now for 25 minutes. Now what I've got to do is get these beans out of here with it. Burning myself. Success. Now what I've got to do is read the instructions again. So now you take the beans out, you've got to go back in the oven for a further 15 minutes. Okay, while he's doing that, I'm going to get the other ingredients ready. So it's 150ml of whole milk, and we don't have whole milk, so I'm going to use semi skimmed. So that's 100ml, so it's one and a half of these. About that. Then I'm going to put four eggs in that. I can pick them up. Okay, so whiskey, eggs and milk together. Milk and eggs whisk together. What I need now is 250 grams of strong cheddar cheese. Grated. What I'm going to do now is wait for that to finish baking, blind baking. Okay guys, so that's a pastry blind baked. Missed a little bit, but never mind. Now the next thing, jar of, well we picked as the sweet sandwich pickle. What I need is 200 grams of that, so this is 300 grams, so it's two thirds of a jar. I think it's 200 grams I need. Yeah, 200 grams, so two thirds of a jar. What you do is you get it, spread it over the base. Like so. Then we're going to put in the cheese, evenly distributed. And then add in the milk and the eggs. And 
and that then goes back in the oven for 25 to 30 minutes until it's just wobbly in the middle. On the middle shelf apparently. While that kicks, clean up this mess. Ok guys, and there we have it. Now what I'm going to do is let that cool down a bit, then I can trim that off. Missed a little bit there, but never mind. Trim that off. So I'll just kick that until it's just wobbly in a little bit in the middle. Come back to that and trim it off. Ok guys, this is cooled down enough now, I'm going to go and try and cut the crust off. Hopefully. Ok guys, and that, when it cools down, will be our tea. Now it says, eat it warm or eat it the next day cold. Then we're just going to let it cool down and eat it later. Ok guys, there's the finished article. Ignore the bits here. And that's what we're having with it. Potatoes, tomatoes and cucumber. I'm going to enjoy this, I think. Do you want to be mum? Not really. <laughs> Thank you.